Hello friend, welcome to Marine Engineering Hub. Today we are going for uh, we are going to discuss gear drive. This uh, gear drive uh, is the last topic of a chain drive, and uh, today we are going to see how the gear drive is uh, employed, and after that, uh, what is hunting tooth in gear drive, and what are the inspection we are going to take carried out in gear drive, and what we need to see in gear drive. So let's begin the video. But before beginning the video, let me tell you that the whole chain drive series can you watch in your play section you can click the i button which is showing above you will go to the place and you can see there the whole chain drive series if you want to know and if you want to know about gear drive so let's start the video here gear drive is employed by two manufacturer mainly one is a soldier and one is the mitsubishi means these two manufacturer uses gear drive mainly in main engine so one diagram which you can see in here is a three wheel drive chain means this is a crankshaft drive this is an intermediate wheel and this is a camshaft and here as you can see is a four wheel drive chain camshaft drive two intermediate wheel and then camshaft drive each is having its own advantages and disadvantages so let's see three wheel gear drive is preferred as it is economical okay it has it is economical but it has a disadvantage what it causes hydraulic actuation delay so what do i mean by hydraulic actuation delay is simple is that means the time required for the actuation of the fuel pump and the exhaust valve is delayed because of the long long exhaust and fuel pump high pressure pipe so this hydraulic actuation delay occur in case of three wheel drive why occur because it is been placed lower to the engine now to overcome this problem some manufacturer has employed four wheel gear drive okay in this four wheel gear drive what is happening the camshaft is placed higher in the engine and as it is placed higher in the engine the hydraulic actuation delay is been eliminated but it is expensive okay so what i written to overcome the hydraulic delay some manufacturer employed four wheel gear drive though it is expensive but allow camshaft to be high in the engine by placing the camshaft high in the engine the hydraulic actuation delay is avoided now let's see what is hunting tooth means basically in this diagram as you can see this is the crankshaft this is the camshaft and you can see the four wheel gear drive arrangement why it is provided i hope you are clear with that to place it camshaft high on the engine so that it has a less actuation delay now apart from that the gear teeth arrangement is also the main factor and for that it is called hunting tooth so let's see what is hunting tooth it has been observed that wear rate of the gear drive is much more if the gear teeth number is a whole number means suppose if the gear teeth number is a whole number in that case it has been found out that the increase in the wear rate of the gear drive is more means what do i mean by that suppose the number of teeth in this drive is 72 and the number of teeth in this drive is 72 and same is here 72 and same is here 72 so in that case the wear will be much more why it has happened because same teeth would miss every two three or more revolution means same teeth will be subjected to same load for every two or three more revolution and to prevent the aggravate wear due to same teeth messing up an extra tooth is included in the wheel on the camshaft drive train so what do i mean by that means to prevent this wear we are adding an extra tooth to the gear camshaft gear drive trend now, as you can see the 73 is provided here then 72 here then 71 here and 73 here none is the whole number so that to prevent every time the same teeth matching with every same other one with each other 
if the same thing doesn't mess with the same one then there will be less wear and the wear rate may be decrease as the ratio between the crankshaft and camshaft in two stroke engine is 1 is to 1 so cam drive train can be arranged in this manner okay in this manner with a different tooth number but the but the basic aim means but as the ratio is 1 is to 1 therefore this arrangement is provided and the hunting tooth is the extra tooth which is preventing messing up the same teeth again and again and preventing the aggravate wear okay i hope you understand now let's move to the next slide what are the inspection of the gear teeth which you are going to carry out in gear when you are seeing it for inspecting it for checking purpose so basically four type of wear occur abrasive pitting it's spelling flacking or it's cuffing so one by one we will see it's once when you open the gear drive train in that case first we will see the abrasive wear what how you will see inadequate fine filtration will allow general abrasive wear giving matte appearance means you will we will check for that matte appearance if a matte appearance is occurring it means that the filtration means lube oil filtration is not proper which is causing the fine particle to come in between the gear train drive and causing the this abrasive wear this scratch is caused by the small particle present in oil so we will change the filter element if we see any matte appearance on the gear wheel drive because this matte appearance represent abrasive wear now let's see what is pitting how we will see the pitting wear pitting usually occur at about mid height of the gear indicating sorry for spelling mistake indicating lubrication deficiency means as you can see this is a gear drive and if we can find there is a in a mid height of the gear drive there is a pitting mark it means that the lubrication deficiency is causing this means main one thing as i have told in chain dive also the most and foremost thing which can cause devastating effect and aggravate the wear rate of the chain or also in a gear drive is the lubrication the first and foremost thing we need to take care is that the lubrication should be very good efficient clean and effective these all thing we need to take care in mind before while inspecting okay so because you as you can see the abrasive wear has also occur because of lubrication as the filtration is not good the pitting is also occur because the lubrication is not proper and lubricant is not proper okay so on also there is slightly misalignment is there so pitting usually occurred at the mid height of the gear indicating lubrication deficiency and perhaps slight misalignment it is caused by local welding due to the deficiency of lubrication the two gear wheel drive undergoes local welding and again tear off causing a pitting mark and that have a devastating effect on the gear wheel drive aggravating the wear now let's move to the third spelling flacking or exfoliation indicate deformation of the tooth allowing hard case to break up and become deattached means what if the case hardening of the tooth is not carried out properly means as you know the gear drive teeth which is subject which is engaging means the whole no, whole teeth is not when this part of the teeth is case hardened because it will continuously missing and therefore continuously undergoing stress tension and tension bending various stress is undergoing to prevent this all cyclic stress and various stress the surface is case hardened okay this surface is case hardened as this surface is case hardened if the case hardening is not proper then spalling will occur okay so it may due to the insufficient case depth or basic gear design fault means this is a design fault means the basic design have a fault that it has not hardened the thing properly but it could also associate with the unforeseen overload condition means it will also can occur if the 
engine is driven over load condition and also because of fatigue okay so these are all the condition which we will call spalling and flacking now scuffing galling and undercutting is usually an indication of incorrect meshing or total lubrication failure if a scuffing if a undercutting or galling is occur it means lubricant is not been provided on the gear wheel drive or lubrication failure has taken place secondly misalignment has occur and therefore the wheel is undergoing scuffing so one more time i am telling you lubrication is the main factor so to make sure that this abrasive wear pitting spalling scuffing doesn't occur we need to inspect the gear teeth over a period of time and i hope you are clear with the hunting tooth also and why the gear drive and how hydraulic actuation delay is prevented so i hope you have learned in this uh, video something about gear drive if you have liked the video please hit the like button and please share and please subscribe please subscribe i must request you please subscribe to my video and thank you friend image kit goes to mindresult.co.uk thank you